Um, things are getting complicated. I wake up and we're seeing all kinds of everything. We saw that Chris Paul is going to be out due to COVID protocols. Did he get that Johnson and Johnson? Then we saw that Kawhi Leonard is out and not just for the next game. He's out indefinitely, especially after saying this after a post game from game five, game five, game four. And before I let you go, you know, we saw you collide with Joe Ingles there. You seemed like you were in a little bit of pain. You sat not long after that. Any concerns with that right leg? What happened there? No, I'll be good. And then, and then, the New Orleans Pelicans fired probably the worst coach, in my opinion, from last season, Stan Van Gundy. Not saying Stan Van Gundy's a bad coach, it's just he made no sense for that team. A lot of crazy stuff going on in the NBA. This is not what I wanted to start this video out on. This is not why I wanted to fill the cold open with, but the NBA right now is in shambles. I don't know what else to say. Let's just get into the video. Run the intro. What's going on, CK Cruise Boy, CK2K? Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video, guys. I appreciate all the love and the comments <laughs> talking about the new intro and the new outro. It means a lot. I know it did small little parts of the video, but I know uh, they're becoming a part of the culture or part of the lore of this channel. Has been the intro, has been the outro song, you guys. It's just it's a lot of fun. So I appreciate you guys uh, giving the compliments in the comments on those. So before we get into today's video i have to give a huge shout out to julius randall julius randall was officially named second team all nba yesterday i was very hyped up about it i was really expecting he was either going to be left off the list or the nba was going to you know give toss him the all nba third team but they put him on the second team. I, I'm hyped up about that. I, I feel like there's a lot of changes that could have gone around. And I'm sure as soon as I mention this, people are going to have things to say. But just the fact that Julius Randle, after the year he had in 2019-2020, it just huge, huge, huge monumental uh, season for him. We'll see what happens next when it comes to Julius Randle and this next. Does he take the next step? But that being said, perfect cap to a great season for Julius Randle. Um, and it's, it's very deserved. So shout out to Julius Randle. Can't wait to see what you got next for us. And also... Also, before we get into today's video, I'm seeing footage of a new fan favorite. It seems that the Frank Hive members are, are, are slowly tiptoeing their way over to a new hive. And that's the Luca Vildoza hive. Luca got himself in the gym and then this video came up on the interwebs and got people excited. Got all the, the new Luca Vildoza stands dripping in sweat of anticipation and excitement. Could have used a different phrase, but that's the first and you guys know how I feel. I'm excited to see what Luca got. I'm not all in on the, the Luca bandwagon yet. I still feel like I'm not 100% sure how his game is going to translate to the pro level. He's young. I'm excited to see what happens next. But a lot of you guys are already convinced that that is our starting point guard. I don't know. You guys are funny. But speaking of you guys, in yesterday's video, I talked about the NBA draft and who my three favorite um, prospects are if we do plan to stay at 19 and 21. I said I'm looking at guys like Zaire Williams. Ayo Donsuma, uh, definitely Sharif Cooper, Jared Butler. Like those are my three favorites, but mainly in Zaire Williams at 19 and um, Ayo, Ayo, excuse me, at 21. Those are my dream picks at that spot. So I spoke my piece on if we stay there, but you guys gave a lot of opinions on moving up, trading around, doing all kinds of stuff. So you knew I had to give the floor fully to the comments. I, I haven't done comments of the video in a long time. Hell, I haven't even done a video like this in a long time. So the floor is yours. In in another episode of reading your comments that's right where i go to you guys and see what all you guys opinions are on what the knicks should be doing right now and I, i'll get my two cents on it i like this one coming from bands that what bands that's the check oh, okay that's, that's the name. He says, totally agree with the vid, CK2K. Combo of AO Williams is what I would go with, honestly. This draft is so deep. If I was front office, I would try to find a way to make some trades to also get Trey Man or Johnny Jazang, um, as well as Tom supposedly doesn't want too much prospects, which kind of makes sense. But look at the Hawks and all the guys they drafted. Sometimes building in the draft is what's best rather than gutting a team for, for a superstar. And you guys know that that's my motto. I've been since this channel has been conceived my motto for this team is we need to have the um, small market mentality things obviously fast forwarded this last season thanks to Tom Thibodeau but at the same time I don't want this team to go into a rut of what happened in the early 2010s as well as what happened to the Minnesota Timberwolves where you know it just turned into a uh, veteran 
focused team and then we don't really have any direction to go from um in the future not i'm not saying that we don't pull any um don't pull the trigger on a trade for like damian lillard or something like that if it is realistic and if it makes the most sense but at the same time i, I agree with what bands is saying i still would love to see us come out with at least two rookies in this draft class even if it turns out that Tibbs only uses one this year and then eventually in, in the future uses both of them who knows but this this draft class i feel like is so deep that um we could potentially have two more solid contributors to this team but again it's up to what tibbs does so i hear what you're saying bands daniel santos saying hi ck please check out nemias cueta from utah state he's a seven footer center a block and defense monster i think he would be great as tibbs likes defensive centers that protect the rim he would also be a great backup center coming from the bench i am from portugal and nemias has can be the first portuguese player in the nba ever so he has a nation with him let's go next all right daniel to be real a chat if you guys know who he is i've never heard of him so let's do a quick little scouting report first of all let's see what tankathon where tankathon has him at all right i'm on tankathon i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling oh there he is according to tankathon he is ranked he is marked to go 27th to the uh well to the brooklyn nets so hey at least you'll still be in new york <laughs> I, to be real with you and be completely honest i am still if we do go a center route or a big man route in that first round i still am a little bit more leaning in the uh direction of kai jones but i do like what i see from Nemes. i think he'd be nice uh definitely uh, very uh good around the rim but we'll see i, I don't see anything about it is shooting i don't know but uh yeah good good take there daniel Arian berisha he says big on zyre williams and jared butler i'm not a book night guy really oh that's the first time i'm seeing that if we take him at 21 then sure but i wouldn't trade up for him or anything i'm also not a fan of ao for us in the first he's extremely low feel and his shooting could possibly be an outlier he is not a good shot creator and his defense is inconsistent and he makes a lot of bad plays with an awful handle butler is much better uh yeah i think the thing is with uh, with ao and the reason why i like him so much is the, the guy the build the player i feel like all he is missing is some is, is some smooth and around the edges with his game and i feel like he has all the tools to be molded into a solid player with the coaching staff that we have with with guys like tom thibodeau uh, and johnny b kenny Payne. like i think that's what was missing because the guy's talent is crazy his build is crazy he has the ability to do a lot of things the shot creation and the consistency from um ab above the arc are definitely the two uh big keys and that's the reason why he dropped so low in this draft even though he had such a good season the defense though i feel like the defense will be fine under a tom thibodeau uh regime for a full entire season i'm not worried about the defense because the defense is there for ao but i completely understand that as far as the book night take yeah I, I i agree i don't know if i'm necessarily trading up just for james but i think he's going to be nice but i don't know how i feel about just trading up just to get him especially if we're going to move two picks just for one being just him i don't know how i feel about that either but i am a fan of him and i, I would love to see him in, in the orange and blue uh i just don't know how realistic that is brendan zen said best available good players slip in our draft range every year especially the more seasoned guys might get brunson cam johnson types you take it clean rest up in free agency we set like that brand nice and to the point man i was hearing about this dude from a lot of comments so i have to address it first and foremost michael maldonado i hope i said your name right bro shout out to you i see you all the time on Knicks fan tv and i see you on the channel here very rarely he says curious to hear your thoughts on chris duarte professionally all i want in this draft is shooting no matter what position they play get me pg or a center who shoots threes or whatever position and i wouldn't be happier also shooter is another yuck mouth peyton with a 20 million dollar price pay facts 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 um okay so this is addressing to all the i got so many comments talking about chris duarte everybody's asking about chris duarte and the thing is i do like chris duarte matter of fact on tankathon i think he's slated to be right in between where we are 19 and uh 21 and i think they have duarte going 20th and yes the guy is nice i like chris duarte's game um the guy is a shooter as said he's six six and we cannot forget the fact that this dude is a solid defender uh, according to a lot of scouts and according to what we were, was being said like he's a, a solid help defender but i think he has that potential to be a great um off ball defender which i in the nba is very underrated hell lonzo ball has made a, a good 
few first few seasons showing that he is a solid off ball defender which is very necessary especially with a team like us that plays a lot of good team defense so Chris Duarte would fit really well on this system there's no hate about it I just for me personally I just really feel like Zaire Williams even though he's slated to probably go a bit, a bit higher than us Zaire Williams and a point guard are the two that I really want if we go like Zaire Williams and Chris Duarte I think I would love that too I just really really want one of these long scoring wings in this draft I really feel like we can take one of these scoring wings in this draft so um if it's if it's uh Williams and Duarte I'll do something like that too um you know but yeah I I am a fan of him too I do like his game when you, you show me a player that is big body 6'6 six, six, that can shoot and create his own shot as well as a solid defender what else could you really ask for? Chris Duarte is nice. I think he would fit us pretty nicely, right nicely to go to the Hawks. See, child of God, I like this one. He said, my Knicks draft picks as of today would be 19 Chris Duarte, 21 Zaire Williams, Chris Bays, uh, Bassey at 32, 58. Here's my problem. I don't think Chris Bassey needs to be drafted that high up. I think you could probably get a Knicks at 32 or um, what other point guard would be available around that time. Yeah, see, I'm looking at Cameron Thomas from LSU. Train man right there from Florida. Like, I feel like they would be available at 32. BJ boston like a lot of those kind of guys yeah dacian nicks right there will be available according to this they have us drafting charles bassey at 58 point being i love the choice of guys you got here uh i just want a point guard amongst those four if we are magically keeping four rookies in the draft but yeah i, I love all those names at the bottom of the draft that's just and just, just that, that's just looking at where we are slated to draft that so i would love any of those names wearing a Knicks jersey uh going forward but yes let's trade up to me if you're moving those two picks in this kind of draft we should end a player or whatever the case may be hell if we move all four of our picks i don't understand how that couldn't get us into the top five so i'm gonna pull up right now uh the top 10 teams slated to be in the lottery right i'm looking at the rockets the the pistons the uh magic the thunder the Cavs, the warriors the raptors okay go on so on and so forth right i'm looking at several teams here the thunder being one of them if they're willing to move from there i'm looking at several teams here that would be willing to take four draft picks realistically like i you know i understand that you know the the cavaliers are are you know fiending and sort of the thunder fiending for that superstar maybe even the magic but i feel like there's a possibility that leon rose and some of these guys can get on the phone with one of these dudes to entice them in the top five to be like yo we'll give you three or four of our picks for your one pick at four or five, depending on what happens in the lottery. Hell, it would be even better if like a team like the Warriors or a team like the Raptors or one of these other, one of these teams move up in the draft where you know a Raptors are a team that would love to have four solid players in a deep draft like this and hell who's to say that we wouldn't use them for different type of moves as well like who's to say that we only use them to trade up in the draft who's to say that we don't use them to trade to get a pick and another player who's to say that we don't use those like to for portland like we have assets to do things that help this team go forward so this this draft is going to be fun this, this is going to be a fun and very interesting and nerve-wracking offseason i can't wait i can't wait there's so many possibilities if we go all in on getting the one rookie we can do that if we're trying to get a big there's so many possibilities but let me know your guys thoughts about that in the comments below i don't know why i went on that tangent but i had to go on it so that's just some of all of the comments that came from just this past video and the majority of the comments had to talk about either us getting chris duarte or getting you know uh james Bo uh, Bo book Knight. like there's a bunch of basically a lot of the same players that we talked about in this video a lot of people are believing that they should get this one that one the combination of two this that and the third and i'm also seeing some knuckleheaded comments talking about dennis shooter making sense but i also saw a lot of smart comments saying that dennis shooter needs to be nowhere near this team <laughs> let me know what you guys are thinking about everything that was mentioned in this video do you guys think it makes the most sense for just for us to trade all our picks to get a top five talent do you think that's potentially possible do you think we should keep these picks to possibly move to get like a damian lillard or one of these other marquee stars to come to this team so many possibilities that can happen and i'm so curious to hear what you guys have to say we're obviously going to break all this stuff down i keep mentioning i'm going to have amazing guests on this channel to talk about all those possibilities and future things that can happen leading up to the draft and leading up to free agency but i want the playoffs to die down first let's have the fun speculating a little bit and we'll get down to the nitty-gritty with that later on but let me know your thoughts 
thoughts about everything in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Join the Discord and follow me over on Twitch. It's Wednesday, so that means we are streaming tonight over on Twitch. So follow and have fun over there. We talk about the Knicks, but we also game over there and have a good time. So join the Twitch channel. Link is in the description below. It's me, boy, CK. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's get it. I love what's going on right now. I'm really excited, as you can tell, about what is to come for the Knicks. Shout out once again for Julius Randle. Shout out to all you guys. See you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. And peace. Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is